main questions I get these days since Windows 7 came out is Mr. Schneider, how do I use the paint program in Windows 7? It's so much different looking than the one I used in Windows Vista or the one I used in Windows XP. And not to fear, it does look a lot different. However, the tools and the features are all there. You just have to know where to look for them. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple tessellation. I'm not going to show you all the steps. I want to cut this down to a brief around three, four minute video. Um, but I'll show you the basic steps. So this way you can use Windows 7 to create the tessellations that you've been creating all along in Windows XP or in Windows Vista. All right, to start with, we're going to come up here, and these are where our shapes reside. And you have much more, many more options now. We're going to left-click on the Rectangle tool. We're going to go over here to define the size of the rectangle. And we're going to click on one point, because we're going to end up erasing this rectangle that we draw. I'm going to hold the Shift key, same as in Windows or XP. I'm going to hold the Shift key, left-click, and drag to get my rectangle. Now this is a new feature. You're going to have to click a few more times. I'm going to click one more outside the box, uh, but that gives us a nice square to work with. What we're going to do next is find the line tool. We're going to click on the line tool and this time we're going to pick a thicker line thickness. Let's go with a size 2 because these are lines we're actually going to keep in the final tessellation. So I left click at the corner and here's a here's something new to Windows 7. As soon as I let go I get a double arrow and that means I can actually left click again and move that line which actually is kind of a nice feature actually because it doesn't just stop where you left off. So again, you can take and simply modify it. Now the drawback is that you have to actually move away until it becomes a cursor again and left click one more time. And sometimes that results is in this with another little line segment. So we're going to click Control Z to undo that and go back to our line and get a fresh start on our line. Again, starting from the same point where we left off, come back, I'm going to keep this simple. I just want those boxes to disappear before I start my next line. And I'm always connecting these points back to each other. And again, I left click. So there's our first side. We're going to repeat this from the top left corner. Left click into the shape. Move away, left click and then come off the top right corner of our square. Get it right there in the center. All right, perfect. And then I'm going to left click. Okay, so again, pretty much the same. I'm not going into all the different lines that we could have used. I do that if you watch the, uh, the tessellations video from the T3 series. I'll go into exactly how to use that curve line tool, but just to cut this short, I'm going to go to Select here. Now this is different as well, so I click on the Selection option. I want to make sure Rectangular Selection is selected, and I want to make sure that this Check button is on Transparent Selection. And you will remember that from Windows Vista and also from Windows XP that we needed to select the Transparent option. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Control C to copy it to the clipboard, Control V to paste, and there will be my next portion. So I'm going to take this portion again and duplicate it and bring it down to the bottom. All right, after that one is in place, we're going to come up here, left click, select, hit Control C then control V to give us a duplicate copy and we're going to move this copy directly across and place it on the other side. Perfect. Alright, now it's time to clean it up. So we're going to come up and here's the eraser tool. 
Um, we're going to select the eraser size. Probably a little bit thicker will be good for this exercise. And we're going to basically erase and clean up all these lines that are unnecessary. And again, one thing you can do is use the zoom tool to zoom in. And again, that sometimes helps with this cleanup. And then select the eraser tool. Now don't forget, if you have any gaps, if you by mistake, if you hit your tessellation and you need to clean up a mistake like right here where there's an opening, simply grab your line tool, which is still set to our second line thickness, and then simply drag a line across, move away to left click, and then you can continue with your erasing. All right. And that's where we're going to leave off for today. You can look up the rest of this on part two. How do I create a translation tessellation using Windows 7?